Truth is stranger than fiction. I suddenly remembered that phrase. In reality, unexpected events are happening everywhere. What happened to our family was an event that could have happened in a novel or drama. My name is Claire. My father was a civil servant, my mother was a housewife, and I had one brother. I was born into a very ordinary family. However, when I was in elementary school, my father died suddenly in a traffic accident. After my father passed away, my mother raised my brother and me on her own. My mother, who had been a housewife all her life, had a long gap before returning to work, and she must have had a hard time looking for a job. Nevertheless, she worked hard, taking on multiple part-time jobs and sacrificing sleep, so that my brother and I would not be financially burdened. We sold our house and moved to a small apartment, but thanks to my mother's part-time job, my father's small savings and insurance money, my brother and I were able to graduate from high school and university without any difficulties. Now I live with my husband and two daughters. This year was busy with my eldest daughter's junior high school entrance exam and my youngest daughter's enrollment, but we are enjoying our modest yet happy life as a family of four. I met my husband when I was a college student. We started dating and soon became aware of marriage, but I couldn't burden my mother with any more financial problems. We decided to save up for our own wedding, so after graduating from college, I worked hard and saved money. I also never missed a monthly allowance from my mother. It was the least I could do to repay her kindness. After I quit my job to focus on raising my children, we barely made ends meet with our family's living expenses, but I still asked my husband to send a small allowance to my mother. My 65-year-old mother lives alone. I hope she can now take it easy and think only of herself after all the hardships she has gone through. My brother and I are both married and have our own families. We are already independent. My mother has also entered her pension life, so I hope she can spend her time freely without worrying about us from now on. Then I suddenly thought of my brother. There was something strange about my brother Jackson's marriage. My brother had a girlfriend since junior high school, and their relationship seemed to have continued even after they graduated from high school and became university students. I met her a few times, and she was a lovely person with a cute smile. I thought he would marry her someday. However, the woman my brother introduced as his marriage partner was not her. She was a flashy woman who smelled of strong perfume and looked like she worked at night. My mother and I were honestly confused, but my brother easily married her. They didn't have a wedding ceremony. So I met my sister-in-law only once when my brother brought her to introduce her to us. Since then, my brother has never appeared in front of us, nor has he ever contacted us. I wonder where he is now and what he's doing. Is he living well? I was curious, but there was no way to contact him and I never knew what happened to him. It's unbelievable that my brother suddenly appeared. Moreover, the reason was too unbelievable. One day, my mother called me. Hello, Claire? I don't know what to do. Can you come over now? Her voice was different from usual. I could tell she was upset, and I wondered if something had happened. I don't know what happened, but calm down. I'll go right away. I answered like that and hurried to my parents' house. As soon as I opened the door, I understood the reason for my mother's confusion. A mountain of cardboard boxes was placed in the entrance, as if someone had moved in with a lot of luggage. Mom, what's going on? Well, I don't really understand, but... Jackson is here now. Huh? My brother? I was surprised that my brother's name came up. Then, my brother came out from the back, waving his hand and grinning. Hey, Claire. It's been a while. From today, we're going to live here. Huh? What do you mean? I answered like that, surprised, and my sister-in-law popped her head out from behind. It's been a while, Claire. From today, we're going to live here and take care of our mother-in-law. She's already old, and it's hard for her to live alone, isn't it? So Jackson and I decided to live together and take care of her. Yeah, that's right. So from now on, we'll take care of mom. You don't have to worry about anything and just think about your own family. My brother tried to chase me away like that. But why all of a sudden? 
Isn't it terrible to decide without any consultation? Don't worry about the details. Anyway, that's how it is. Now go home. My brother seemed to be saying that there was no need for discussion. I thought that I couldn't have a discussion and I left my parents' house. I was only worried about my mother, who looked anxious. From that day on, my mother and my brother's family started living together. I didn't know what my brother's family's purpose was, and I didn't think they were genuinely worried about my mother. There must be something behind it. Otherwise, my brother, who had cut off contact for many years, and even his wife, would not suddenly say that they would take care of my mother. I had a bad feeling. It was clearly suspicious. I didn't know if they were really taking care of my mother. I was worried about my mother's safety, but I couldn't call them recklessly because I thought my brother's family was there. Even if I visited them, I would be turned away. Time passed without knowing what to do. One day, my mother came to my house. Claire. I don't know what to do anymore. She said that and cried. I sensed that something terrible had happened to her, more than before. Her body was clearly thinner than before. What's wrong, mom? You're so thin. Are you eating properly? Your face is terrible. Are you sleeping well? Jackson. Jackson and Caroline. They took all the money you've been sending me. All of it, the cash card. The house is a mess. It's like a garbage dump. They eat and drink whatever they want, and I only get one instant food. They say, you're old, and you don't use your physical strength all day, so one meal is enough. I can't stay there anymore. If they can't prove that they're taking care of me, it's disadvantageous for them to get the inheritance. So I have to stay there from now on. I can't go anywhere, but I can't live properly if I stay there. I don't know what to do anymore. My mother said that and cried. After losing her husband, my mother, who never showed tears no matter how difficult the situation was and always smiled, was crying so painfully. I was overwhelmed with anger towards my brother and his wife who made my mother suffer so much. Mom, don't worry. I'll definitely help you. I won't let my brother's family do whatever they want forever. Doesn't my brother feel any gratitude towards our mother? I can't believe that he would do such a terrible thing to our mother, who has been struggling all along. It's the worst that he suddenly came back for money, even though he hasn't contacted us for so long. I thought about how to punish my brother. Then I came up with a plan. This will surely punish my brother and his vulgar wife. I immediately contacted someone. A few days later, I headed to my parents' house. Excuse me. When I said that, my brother came out with a pale face. Brother, Claire. What the hell are you talking about? I knew my plan was perfect from my brother's desperate look. What are you talking about? I don't really understand. Don't play dumb. What does this eviction order mean? Oh, isn't that from the landlord? Did you read the contents properly? No. I haven't read it yet. That's not good. You have to read it properly. Let me see it. I took the document from my brother and looked through it. I got it. Are you paying the rent properly, Jackson? Huh? Rent? Isn't mom paying it? You don't understand anything, do you? If you're going to live together, you have to talk about things like that. You know, the rent is automatically deducted from mom's account every month. It's been unpaid for several months because of insufficient balance. Unpaid rent. Yes. But it's strange. We've been sending money to mom's account every month, so it's impossible for the rent to be insufficient. You didn't withdraw money on your own, did you? When I asked him that, my brother's face turned even paler. That's, well, I had something to do and used it. That's not good. You have to pay it right away. Jackson, you have to leave this house. Well, you came here just to take care of mom, so you can go back to your original home, right? But I don't have a home to go back to. Huh? What do you mean? I asked him with a dumbfounded look on my face. 
I actually knew about my brother. Investigating the background of a suspicious person is not something that happens for no reason. After all, my husband is a lawyer. He has a large amount of debt from gambling and his home has been seized. He has been borrowing from consumer finance companies to repay it. He was fired for embezzling company money and is currently unemployed. So he came up with the idea of taking all of his mother's pension and inheritance. You're the worst kind of person. My husband said that quietly from behind me. You are Claire's husband? My brother tried to maintain his composure and said in a strong tone. Yes. My name is Grayson. I've investigated you in various ways, Jackson. According to Claire, you broke up with your longtime girlfriend and married your current wife, and something strange happened from there. You haven't been in contact for a long time, have you? I've heard Claire's story, but it's the first time I've met you in person. Investigated. What did you investigate? My sister-in-law, who seemed to have heard my husband's story from the back, said that with a desperate look. There must be a past she doesn't want to reveal. Caroline, you worked at night after dropping out of high school. It seems that you seduced Jackson, who happened to visit you through your boss, and even got married. That's not true. I didn't use Jackson. We loved each other and that's why we've been together for so long. It's true that we met at a bar. But our marriage was something we decided together, right? Sister-in-law appealed to my brother. But he seemed to remember something. You were trying to use me, weren't you? I had a girlfriend at the time. Even though I refused you, you persuaded me. After we got married, you said you didn't want to have anything to do with my family, so I stopped contacting mom and Claire, and when you needed money, I gambled. But it was all for you. You didn't care about me, you just wanted the money I gave you, right? That's not true. I really loved you. In front of me, a dramatic scene of a man and a woman was unfolding. I was listening to their conversation with a half-dreamy feeling, wondering if such a thing really happens. I immediately thought of the possibility that my brother was not paying the rent because he was touching my mother's money, and I told the landlord and my husband about it. The landlord immediately investigated the payment status and issued an eviction notice to my parents' house, and my husband agreed to investigate my brother's family in detail. I never thought it would be such a big deal, but I was a little excited about this scene, but my husband next to me was calm and unshaken. As a lawyer, he must have seen such a scene many times. Well, there's no point in having such a pointless argument here. Why don't you come to my office for now? It's better for your family to talk properly about the future. After the quarrel between my brother's family was over, my husband patted their shoulders and said that. After that, what happened was. My husband took over the unpaid rent and paid it all. My mother can still live in the apartment as before, but I thought it would be difficult if she got involved in any trouble in the future, so we decided to live together in our house. When I talked to my mother about living together, she was very shy at first, but she smiled and said that it might be fun to live with her grandchildren, whom she could only see occasionally. Isla, a junior high school student, was a little confused at first, but she quickly became friends with her kind grandmother. Little Sarah, who is still small, is laughing happily as she is held by her grandmother. The aftermath of my brother's family was too tragic. My brother, who was at a loss because there was no prospect of repaying the debt that had swelled up, divorced his wife, who was the root of all evil, by force, and disappeared. However, no matter how much he tried to escape, the debt collectors would follow him wherever he went. I feel a little sympathy for the tragedy that resulted from being used by my sister-in-law, but it's his own fault. I can't defend him when I think about how badly he treated my mother. I don't know much about what happened to my sister-in-law, but it seems that she is clinging to her old job at a bar, so she will probably find another man and continue to use him. My sister-in-law doesn't have a shred of love and only thinks about money. She just takes the money from any man she can find, and I think her life is pitiful when I think about what kind of tragedy awaits her. But it's none of my business anymore. I don't need to think about what will happen to her in the future. Since my mother is here, I decided to go back to work. My husband's law firm is looking for an assistant, so I decided to take the job. 
I studied law in college, so I'm thinking of getting a lawyer's license someday. My mother is already 65 years old. Our family will continue to get older and older from now on. The world is very dangerous these days, and fraud cases are rampant. I never thought that my brother's family, who are my family, would plot to take my mother's pension and inheritance, but I don't know what kind of bad intentions are swirling around me. To survive in such a chaotic world, it's better to acquire more knowledge and learn how to protect yourself. Above all, I want to be able to help someone like my mother who is unfairly deceived and used in the future. I want to be a reliable person who can reach out and save them. This time, thanks to my husband being a lawyer, we were able to prevent my brother's family's wrongdoing. So now I want to be useful to someone else.